Fucking, I reckon they've got me down for this workshop. I don't know why, but we'll try to run through it and do a little bit of uh, banjo work. And I guess uh, first thing we'll do, maybe just play a tune or two, and we'll start off with the way that I first learned. How many of you like the claw hammer style? <clears throat> That's the first way that I learned to play, so uh, I'll just tune up and we'll do the first tune I learned. request for a little birdie and the first way I learned to play it uh, there's, there's two different licks on this claw hammer the way I play it so I'll give you a little example of that in the meantime I see some other banjos around if anybody wants to play some somewhere a little later we'll bring them up and play it and let you play something now and he's building this banjo for me he studied my playing ever since I started back years ago and he tried to come up with a with one that had the same sound of the old master Tom Gibson I played so long and uh, he, he makes them for me now he knows to put Stanley tone down here and uh, I'm gonna have 30 of these banjos made to sell and this is number 11 and uh, as I play them on the on the stage on their appearances right. If anybody wants one, I sell it to them and I break in another one. I've been playing this one now about two months. And uh, I think it's a fine 
fine banjo, one of the best that, that's made today uh, of the new ones. So anybody who wants to look at it while we get through, uh, they can come up and look at it. <clears throat> you got a question, Curly? What they need, Ralph, they can't hear you. They need some sound. They can't hear a word you say. I didn't think they could. Just people out there, they don't hear a word you say. I don't know. Uh, well, if you can see, Nan see Nancy, maybe she'll get one. Anything, or I probably won't be able to tell you, but I'll try. Do you uh, do you thin the bridge down on the banjo? Do what? Do you thin the bridge down at all on the banjo, or just leave it the way it is when you buy them? Do you sand the bridge down and make it thinner? No, I, no, I don't. I used to some, but I don't anymore. Those songs, were they C tuning or G? Huh? Those songs, were they C or G? The ones I've been doing? Yeah. C. Yeah. You should play C. I do most of the ball handling C. I play different, I guess, to anybody else that plays uh, plays the banjo. But uh, French Mountain Back Backstep was a tune that I wrote in 1955. We recorded it, and uh, I'll try a little of that one.
place. <laughs> no, that's the D D tune. D. Just a just a D, yeah, you know. What key?
music playing there, I call the drop thumb. You know, uh, he drops his thumb where I, uh, my mother played that way. That's all different now that she played with the drop thumb. And uh, I never could do that though. I just, I just hold mine up at the top all the time. It's a good, uh, good style of playing to call him though. You know, I don't, I, I remember the title, I don't remember the song.
Anybody else want to play one? I'll play one. Maybe you got a name for it. Okay. Right on over. Uh, I learned it from a fellow at a bluegrass festival. And if he had a name, I didn't learn it. I think it's a classical banjo piece.
that is. That's a mocking bird. Practicing, 
Well, I'll tell you the best way, I guess, to get started. Now, this, this is sort of the hard way, but uh, the way I found it, most people, if they want to hear Clancy Mountain back, they want to hear me play it. If they want to hear uh, Father Mountain break down, they want to hear Earl Scruggs. And I know this is a hard, uh, hard thing to say. But the best thing to do is to work out something different on your own, and they still stuff to be worked out. And uh, that way, people can recognize you. When you get up and doing the other man's stuff, you're just helping him out. Making him money and losing. And uh, that's why that I play my own stuff and nobody else always has. And, uh, when you, know, when you pick your banjo, you pick a lot with your fifth and first string open. Yeah. Okay, that's really important, though. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I do. But that, and then just you know, get down and really work, work hard on it, and uh, do your best to do uh, establish your style of your own. You know, which you say, well, there's so many now, it's hard to do, but I, there's probably some more yet. Oh, well, a lot of a lot of um, banjo pictures you see these days look like they're concentrating terribly hard while they're playing. I know I have that very difficult to do. Yeah, you make it look like uh, you're just holding your thumb. You sit there. Well, no, I. Well, no, I, well, no I, I, I agree with you. Most uh, most band players do. They they have to get in a certain position, and it, it really sounds like a strain. But it, it never was for me. But maybe I don't pick that much band. I don't know. But it's uh, it never was a strain to me to play. Oh yeah. I get a lot of crisper, sharper tone. Uh, I used a flathead a couple of weeks or something one time. I didn't like it. This looks like a Gibson. That's that's actually that's actually about what it is. Uh, then you use to play the bass a lot. No, I never played the bass. You used to have a ball bearing. Yeah, I had a ball bearing one time. How come you switched? Do you like this one better? Or what? This one? How come you switched? From uh, my old one to this one. Well, uh, in a way, I got afraid to carry them old ones. See, I got stolen one time. And uh, I've been offered a lot of money for that one. And you could get it stolen, you know, and then. I've had it a long time, and I like to keep it, and I like to keep it in good shape. And this one, I uh, suits suits me just as well. I mean, as far as the sound, it plays easy, and, and that's I'm just sort of preserving it. You still play the stelling at all? Hardly ever. I have a stelling, but uh, I, I play this about all the time. Our stelling boy wants to put up the music. Uh, Stellings is a fine banjo. They're well made. And, uh, I like I like the sound of the Stellings. Seem like they never did just fit me exactly. Now this one here is made exactly the same dimensions, neck, and everything. Like my old one, it's just more natural to me. But the Stelling is a fine banjo. No, no, I, I couldn't tell you. Now, this boy makes them for me, and he won't tell me. <laughs> He's afraid I'll tell it. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure one of that crisp tone you get is from your hand position, not just the arch tone. How close do you play to the bridge and how much do you arch your hand? Oh, I play pretty close to the bridge. About like this. Where is your little finger? Is it in front of the bridge? Is it near or behind? Behind. Back here. Most bands of pickers do more of this like this, don't they? Play minus whole like natural straight. Uh, I, I just what feels good, what feels natural. Uh, no, just what feels good to you. Because so I don't think you can do as good if you're in a crash. You know? What feels good to you? Do you really remember much of speed in playing or not? Do you feel it's worth the trouble? 
Well, oh, you can get too fast. Uh, any good musician can run over a lot of good notes by playing too fast. I, I never did play that either. You know, I just, I just never did bother other people uh, tune much. I just played mine. Play emotionally fast when you pick up a good tune and all like that. Well, no, I, I think, uh, I think any song suits certain instruments. You know. Well, I guess that's about long enough. It's getting a little hot in here. Has anybody else got a question? Please play a couple more rounds. How about on the highway? Yeah. Uh, 
yeah, how much is the retail though? Yeah, yeah, you get a whole plate and the same thing. Where do you get the plate? Well, through you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I'm going to get it. Maybe other people interested. Yeah, no, I don't want it to huh? sell it. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm just going to have 30 of them made. I see. I've got enough to collect it out of them. Yes. I'd love just to write you or, or phone you or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to have one. I've got to talk to my superior because you know my name's a... That's true, then. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're doing a quick one back step. Are you hitting your first string with an index finger sometimes? Oh, yeah. That's it. You just pull it off, don't you? Did Ralph ever play any other instrument besides the banjo, no, or did you go right no, up with that? I recorded one song on the mandolin, but I played it with the finger. Yeah, with the finger. Picks. You grew up with the banjo, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The shows. For someone just starting out, would you recommend starting with the claw hammer or the three finger sound? Well, I'll tell you, a claw hammer is, uh, is, is real popular. There's not too much of it, you know. And I think claw hammer is really being the man. Uh, I never, it, everywhere I go, uh, I always get it It's a, it's very, much more melodic and like flowing. But yeah. Is it, and, is it easier to learn or is it? Well, it's easier for me, but you see, there's so many uh, the top banjo players can't play for me. I guess it's hard for them, maybe. Maybe what might be hard for one would be easier for another, you know, it's difficult. But it's still, uh, there's not much of it, I guess that's the reason it's uh, in demand. I appreciate it greatly if I can get a picture with you later on. Okay. Thank you. Leave it to their time. Anytime. Okay. Anytime you see me. Thanks for having the microphone in your face, too. I appreciate it. Okay.